Let my people as the heart, it don't happen no. Femi Falana, it don't raise alarm. It don't talk, say 2023 election may lead to crisis in Nigeria. Make now watch with this man talk for this video as in spit fire over 2023 election. Make now share this video so I make many people when they see this video because this video so this man drop vector information for this video so and I go want to many people when they see this and I make I say make now share them and as they share them make now see comment on opinion for the comment section. You raise an alarm and that. Perhaps I, I, I'm, I'm not sure that is unfounded. You, you must have seen something for you to say something. Give us a perspective that you have to on this matter. Well, in the first place, um, while the INEC, the Independent National Electoral Commission, uh, is working around the clock to ensure a credible election, I cannot see any sign on the part of the political class, any readiness, any readiness on the part of the political class to have good elections in the country. Uh, I, I just listened to the speaker of the House of Representatives now, Honorable Femi Bajabi Amela, uh, expressing concern over political violence in the country. I'm rather flabbergasted in the sense that uh, uh, last year, the Senate passed, last year, July, the Senate passed uh, the Electoral Offenses Commission bill. Up to now, up to today, the House of Representatives has refused to pass the bill and forced them to the President to ask for assent. So, that, that, that's worrisome. Secondly, security forces the security forces have not taken concrete steps to arrest anti-democratic elements that are bent on frustrating the democratic process. What we have witnessed in the last uh, one month are warnings oozing out of the offices of the Inspector General of Police National Security Advisor, Director General of the State Security Service. Governors are being warned to desist from using talks to disrupt political campaigns of their opponents. Talks are being warned to desist from, you know, uh, 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 disrupting the political process. Those who have been arrested have not been brought to trial. The Central Bank of Nigeria has announced that uh, cash withdrawals uh, will not be allowed beyond 20,000 Naira to the POS or 100,000 Naira per week. But those who have stored dollars at home or those who are mopping up dollars are allowed to keep the money. And so, if you say they should not use Naira, aren't they going to use dollars? Right now, PVCs are being bought. Thousands of pieces, PVCs are being bought by politicians. Are we to believe that the security forces cannot arrest such anti-democratic elements. So when you consider all these threats to uh, the conduct of good elections in Nigeria, you will come to the irresistible conclusion that the two 2023 elections may lead to crisis in the country. By the way, by the way, in spite of the assurance by the armed forces or the authorities of the armed forces that the terrorists have been degraded from the information at my disposal, not less than 40 local governments in Nigeria are currently occupied by terrorists and armed gangs 
in a way that elections are simply impossible. You can't conduct elections in those areas. In the United States of America, President Trump attempted a coup on January 6, 2020. Just a couple of weeks ago, Germany, there was an attempted coup in Germany. So, there is no certainty where democracy has not been fully consolidated. In the case of Nigeria, what you have in place is what am I call rickety democracy. Such rickety democracy is under threat by members of the political class. Three months ago, three months ago, I contacted the leadership of the House of Representatives. When are you going to pass the Electoral Offenses Commission Bill, which was passed by the Senate last year? Oh, I was assured we are going to pass it. But today, that bill has not been passed. The essence of that, the recommendation of the of the OAS panel in 2008, which was set up by the uh, Yaradua government, is that based on experience in the country, political parties, ruling parties, are very reluctant to prosecute electoral offenders. Therefore, let us have a commission that will do so. And that was the essence of the commission. The Buhari regime or the APC promised to set up the commission before coming to power. But today, that has not happened. In Ekiti, Anoshun, where you had gubernatorial elections recently, vote buyers were arrested, armed thugs were arrested. Why have they not been prosecuted? The NSA announced three months ago, two months ago, no, this month, that we have had 52 incidents, 52 incidents, 52 attacks, to the best of my knowledge. Over a hundred people were arrested in the kit alone during the primary. Not to talk of other states. Which of them has been prosecuted? Last week, the Arewa Consultative Forum corroborated the statement credited to INEC that PVCs are being bought. Voters are being induced already. Again, the governor of the Central Bank and I have had a running battle over the dangerous dollarization of the economy. Now, you have said, we're not going to allow people to use Naira to buy votes. Why are you not saying that everybody who has dollars in their homes must put them in domiciliary accounts? So when you consider us this incident, you will come to the irresistible conclusion. Mr. Falano, let, let me, I mean, I, I need to ask you these two yes. direct and uh, short questions. One yes. is, do you think that all of these are deliberate by the political class? Are there are some people who do not want us to have election next year. You see, we operate in an atmosphere of impunity. Once they are not brought to book, what do you expect? The president went to the United Nations last week. No, to the United States of America last week. And earlier than that, to the United Nations. To assure the whole world that his regime, his administration, will conduct credible elections. But on ground, anti-democratic forces are having a field day. And I have just reminded you if, if that Jay, is the case that in over 40 local both are we will not be able to have elections of not having elections no at the stated time. Are there constitutional yes. complications that may arise? Are. What are the implications? Are. How dire are. is the situation? Should we have they a situation are. where with all what is going and what you have described and we are not able to have an election, what is the worst case scenario? You see, I now I I have come out 
to warn Nigerians, to draw attention of Nigerians, particularly concern Nigerians, to the dangers ahead. And, and therefore challenging the authorities, the security forces, the Buhari administration, to go back to the drawing table. Read the, read the riot act to members of the political class. And proceed to arrest and prosecute the anti-democratic forces that are desperately bent on making a mockery of the democratic process. I mean, a couple, a, a couple of weeks ago, the home of a former senator in River State was attacked by over 200 thugs without conducting any investigation whatsoever. The commissioner of police, one Mr. Okong, came out to say that the senator staged the attack on his house. So, once the security forces are not neutral in the political crisis in town, you are in trouble. So, for me, it is not too late in the day now. It is not too late in the day for the House of Reps to pass the Electoral Offenses Commission bill and allow the National Assembly to force him to the president for its assent. So that the commission, an independent commission, can be set up very quickly to deal with thuggery and violence and monetization of the electoral process, purchase of votes. Secondly, the armed forces will have to ensure that terrorists, terrorists, are chased out of town in the 40 local governments currently under the legal control of dangerous armed gangs. So this, these problems can all be identified and addressed one after the other. But if the members of the ruling class go on I see this country is not run under the rule of law. We are going to be in, in a very serious crisis.